Well, in uh, October, October 2008, Seychelles was officially declared bankrupt by James Michel. And he advised the people of Seychelles that we're going to enter a phase of economic reform. What he was saying was that the IMF was taking over the administration of Seychelles financial affairs. And with that came a string of audits and a string of recommendations that the government of Seychelles implemented from the IMF. We're currently under IMF administration. Uh, at the point and time of bankruptcy in October 31st, 2008, the James Michel administration had accumulated $860 million in debt. It made us one of the highest per capita indebted countries in the world. And uh, the James Michel administration has been very successful thus far in pardoning up to about a third of that, of that debt. But they're going to have trouble clearing the remainder of the debt and keeping the country afloat. And it's for that reason that he's adopted a new pillar of our economy, which is the Sheikh Khalifa pillar of the economy. Sheikh Khalifa is accountable for about 4% of our GDP today. It's a dangerous precedence because Mr. Michel has placed the whims, he's placed the, the, the future of our economy in the hands of one single man. If Khalifa catches a cold, we're gonna catch a fever. If Khalifa falls sick, we're going to die. And this is a dangerous precedence that Mr. Michel has created, and we must abandon ship to set the course straight and factor our GDP based on real economic growth and development that comes from the ground up, not from the sky down. There's about $500 million in external debt that still has gone unpaid and Mr. Michel's administration has rescheduled those debts for our children to pay them. We can do better than that as a people and as a country. We can get most of our multilateral and bilateral obligations pardoned entirely by simply admitting to the Paris Club that we are not a medium developed country. We are in fact a lesser developed country under the PP administration. And with that, we'd be entitled to full debt forgiveness of all our multilateral obligations and all our bilateral obligations with the Paris Club and other institutions. With regards to our commercial debt, we can clear it up. It's only for political reasons that the PP does not clear the debts. I'll give you two examples. Sheikh Khalifa owes the government of Seychelles $280 million in unpaid taxes at the point of entry of the 400 containers he's brought into the Seychelles. They haven't been assessed any tax. 17 BMWs, no tax. We need that money. And we estimate that that money amounts to $280 million. An MSR government will give Sheikh Khalifa the tax bill. We'll take that money, we'll pay off our commercial debts, we'll improve our country credit rating today so Seychelles can get back on its feet. Another example, Madame Benacour in Paris, she bought Daros Island in violation of the Immovable Properties Restrictions Act. She did not seek sanction from the government of Seychelles to do the transaction. This transaction is voidable or void according to the will of the government of Seychelles. We can back assess Mrs. Benacour for stamp duty tax on this transaction. And for Darrow's being appraised at almost $1 billion, it's a lot of money that the PP is trying to hide under the table to make a deal with Mrs. Benacour. We will go to Mrs. Benacour and make her pay her taxes. If not, we will seize Darrow's as per the Movable Properties Restrictions Act. We will take the, the, take the stamp duty money, we'll use that to clear off the remainder of our commercial debts and Seychelles will be commercial debt free. We can do that with very little effort. All it takes is political will that the PP government, James Michel, 
Danny Ford, the click, do not have. 